advance parole um, for the future. And like I said, right now it's taking about four to eight months to get a decision. Then you need to be able to show documentation um, that you want to travel either for um, educational reasons, employment reasons, or humanitarian reasons. Okay, so educational reasons will be um, if you wanted to maybe study abroad. I've had clients who have studied abroad for a summer, uh, maybe for a month um, in another country. I've had other ones who've done it just for a week. Um, typically, you just, we just want to show evidence of that program that you want to go to. And then it's also very important on the application that we put the right amount of days to travel for um, because, you know, I, I normally will recommend to my clients not to be out of the country um, more than 90 days because we don't want them later to say that you abandoned your DACA status, okay? So um, it's very important that you put the right amount of days and then obviously like you can't really make travel plans by, by any plane tickets or anything like that until you get an approval. Um, because, you know, we've done some where we, we thought we timed it out right because we're like, okay, it's gonna be in six months. We put the date within six months of the travel. And then if for whatever reason, it takes longer than six months for them to get to your application and the date that you put for your travel has passed, um, they won't deny your advanced parole, but they they'll will send you another letter asking for um, asking you if you still want to travel on those dates, and if you and you and it's very important that you respond and that you send in new dates. Okay, so it's kind of timing it is also important, like when you mail it and what dates you put on the application. Um, so that's so that like I said, so that's one of the categories for which you can travel for for educational reasons. Um, you can also request DACA advanced parole for employment purposes. So if you have, um, a, if your company has another office in another country and they want you to go uh, meet with another team member in another uh, in another country, that could be a reason. It could be if, if they wanna send you um, to get specific training in a specific um, thing or maybe to meet a client. Um, and typically what, what you're gonna wanna sh get from your employer in this case is a letter from one of your supervisors just saying why they want you to travel outside the country and for how long, okay? What would be the purpose of your trip? Um, that would be for employment reasons. And then humanitarian is the third bucket, the third category for which you can request advanced parole. And under humanitarian, it can be for all kinds of different reasons. I've done some where it's based on uh, my clients wanting to visit a sick relative. So maybe a grandparent um, that was suffering from some pretty um, serious disease. Um, I've done some where it's just to visit a family member that they haven't seen in a long time. I had one client who hadn't seen um, their father in about 10 years since their father had been deported um, and that one got approved. Um, I've done some based on, um, you know, the church, their church wanted to do missionary work during spring break and they wanted to go with them. So um, they did it for that. Um, and then another one, um, other reasons have been, you know, to help a family member. I had one where the family member, it was the brother, um, was suffering from kidney disease. Um, and needed a kidney transplant. And so my client wanted to go visit um, their brother and wanted to get tested to see if they could be a donor for their kidney. Um, so yeah, so there's in the humanitarian category, there's lots of different um, ideas um, or things that you can you can show um, to get approved. Um, and under the Biden administration,